My name is Caroline. I'm with the Wise Move AZ team, and we are with Realty One Group. Welcome to the 10th episode of our buyer series. The subject for today is what happens after you have an accepted offer. I'm going to go through it fairly quickly on a high level, but let me say congratulations, you have an accepted offer. It's time to get busy and work hard with your realtor. The first thing you need to do is engage a title slash escrow company or an attorney. It's very rare in Arizona that you would hire an attorney. Title and escrow companies, which are usually the same thing, can handle the transaction for you. You'll need to notify your lender, uh, get the information to them that they're asking for. There's going to be a plethora of documents that they ask for and you'll need to get those to them in a timely manner. The inspections, the third thing, the in inspections need to be organized and your realtor is likely on top of this, but you know, check in if you have any ideas on who you want to inspect. This is the time to make those arrangements. You have 10 days to get all of your inspections completed and to get your bins or I'll deal with the bins or later. Uh, the normal inspections in Arizona are the home inspection, the termite inspection, and the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning inspection. Any one of those could spin off the need for other inspections. For example, if your home inspector thinks there's a problem with the pool, you'll want to get a pool person out. But keep in mind, you have just 10 days to get all the results back and in. The next step uh, is to create the BINZER, what's called the BINZER. It stands for Buyer Inspection Notice and Seller Response. This is the buyer's opportunity to tell the seller what needs to be corrected in the house before the buyer is willing to proceed. So, you know, collect up those things, get them into the binzer. The seller then has the opportunity to say no, in which case the buyer either proceeds knowing that none of the repairs are going to be done or says, forget it. I don't want to proceed with this contract if you're not going to do some of the work. Um, but most commonly, the, the seller will come back and say, I will take care of these items, but I'm not going to take care of these items. And again, the buyer has the opportunity to reject that and say, I'm not proceeding with this deal, or to accept it. And then that's it for the Binzer process. The next thing that happens is the appraisal. The lender will order the appraisal to be done. It's the buyer's responsibility to pay for that. So. There's not much involvement on the buyer's part on the appraisal side. The buyer needs to put in place home insurance and that should be done about a week before closing uh, and so that it's in place on the closing day. The buyer should be scheduling uh, utilities, uh, internet, any kind of service that you need to have on at the house on the day that you move in needs to be scheduled about a week out. Some service providers need that much lead time. So don't leave that one to the last second and then expect the service providers to jump for you. They're really sometimes very inflexible. Um, the next step is to have the buyer's portion of the cash to close wired and in the account of the escrow company at least 24 hours before closing. So whatever notice your bank needs. In fact, I would maybe do it, start the process about a week out so that it's, the money is definitely there and everybody has what they need on time. You don't want your portion of the proceeds to hold up closing of your transaction. There will be a document signing about three days before closing. That's where you sign off on the mortgage documents and the title documents. Also three days before closing, is when your final walkthrough should take place. That's when you go back to the house for the final time before you own it to check and make sure that everything that is supposed to be done is done and that everything that is supposed to be working is working. Um, and then the last thing is closing day and that's the day that you take possession. As soon as you have confirmation that the title has been registered in your name, you're good to go. So congratulations, you have crossed the finish line, break open the champagne, and then put it down and get unpacking. All the best for you in your mood. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of our buyer series. 
We put out new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook at Wisemove AZ to stay up to date on all things Anthem and real estate. And remember, if you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell their home, please give us a call. It's always the right time to make a wise move with the Wise Move AZ team.